Hello, Blaze GFX here with a tutorial on how to create a reflection with the clone stamp tool in Photoshop. And before I start this video, I have to say two things. One is that the Photoshop tutorial series I said I was going to be doing, that's probably not going to happen. It's just going to be one long video, about 15 or 14 minutes, about the tools and how to use them and what they're for and stuff like that. And the second thing is that I know that there's an easier way to do this. Uh, you can just make a background, get a nice solid color or a gradient of your choice. Duplicate the text or the object layer. For me, it's the text. And just bring it down to where you want it to be. Um, make a layer mask. Make sure your foreground and background is white to black. You get your gradient, make sure it's foreground and background, white to black, and it's on linear. And then you click and drag from the bottom of the original text object, text or object, to the bottom of the new one. And then you get a fade, and then you'll change the opacity to around 70 or 60 to get a nice reflection. And that's how you would do it. But I'm going to be showing you how to do it with the um, clone stamp tool. So you're going to want to go to Window, Clone Source, make sure Maintain Aspect Ratio is off, which would be this link or this chain. Make sure Clip Auto High and Invert is off, like Frame is off. Basically what you see on, on this panel right here, make sure Clip Vertically is on, which is this arrow going vertical. And make sure that Show Overlay is on. And then you're gonna, and then you're gonna want to go to your uh, clone stamp tool. Make sure you alt click on the layer that has the um, text or the object on it. And if you're on a PC, then you use alt. But if you're on a Mac like I am, then you use option. And you're gonna want to go on that new layer and just paint it in with a large brush, so you can do do this as fast as possible. And you're going to want to do, like I said in the last time, like the last time, make a layer mask with the same settings, white to black, foreground, background, linear mode for the gradient, white to black gradient, and drag from the top, I mean from the bottom of the original text or object to the bottom of the new one with the layer mask and change the opacity to around 70 or 60. And this is how you make a reflection with the clone stamp tool. Thank, thank you for watching. Uh, thumbs up, thumbs down with everything the video deserves. Subscribe. Blaze GFX. Peace.